What's up all? It's time for the uh, normal weekly scheduled Witcher 3. Although, I'm a bit late. Uh, I actually took the entire day off work yesterday. And didn't play any video games, so I didn't even record anything. Um, I played Resident Evil 2, actually. Well, yeah, I played like the Resident Evil 2 DLC and a bit of Resident Evil 3 on Game Pass just for the achievements. But that was it. No serious gaming. Uh, so right now I'm stuck on the shores of this lake. Some big ass mushrooms. That's not it. X. I'd like to take this opportunity to once again state how much I dislike games where L3 is the run button. I just don't like it. I feel like you could make a better control scheme that uses L1 or left bumper or whatever button. Move! That's clearly on the other side of a lake. What a bountiful season. We must put the I wonder, I don't know why I never thought of that. Just let go of the controls of the elf left stick and just mash X. That way you can at least run in a straight line for like four seconds. Is there a boat around here? There's a bear. Bunch of drowners. I can ride in circles for three hours trying to kill them. Excuse me? Why are you hitting me? <laughs> Let me go. Oh, I forgot I was going to fast travel. Or did I? What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I, I, okay. okay. Yeah, I just totally skipped the fast traveling. Whatever. Whatever works. No, just keep running. Don't stop. Bad horse. Bad horse. Go, go. What's the meaning of this? Well, Witcher. The meaning of this is you need to open your gate. Now, why did you have to go and do that? Is there a way I can sneak in or? No brawls. I want to go inside. It's probably part of a quest. Or maybe that question mark is literally just outside the castle. Uh, if I jump off of here, will I die? Just get off my back.
as much Resident Evil as I've played lately, like I barely remember how to play this like usual. Yeah, there's a cave. That for some reason I'm going to die trying to get into. There's no way back up here, is there? Besides glitching <laughs> through, through the roof, apparently. Well, shit, I'm gonna die rapidly. I hope whatever the next two Witcher games are, they have way better control schemes. Month of big. So this guy escapes from the prison professionally? Why? Like, if they... Who's paying him to do it? Did I turn the music off finally or something? Did this fit under the bridge? The answer is no, apparently.
Faster. Then it can't. Let's do it. No, no arching. You How dare you defend your, your ranged? We don't allow teamwork here. I can't see. I really should have picked a different time to meditate until. Those bees? Onion and mace. Flipped through the ground? That sucks. Adjunct Philip Borut. Probably mayonnaise. I don't know about that. Oh, Professor. Ivors that do that. Yeah, where I fought those, whatever those things were. Lots of books here. Yeah, okay, so that's all about their expedition to the Elven Ruins of Term E. Term E. There's more food in like one section of, of Toussaint than there is in the entire rest of the game combined, like any given section feels like oh yeah I have in here um we'll go over here did I not get that place of power in the northeast hmm. More drowners. It's got to be a hag of some sort here. Can't be it.
Yeah, there was something in the water. Did I... Did I miss something? Oh, it's... okay. Where you used to be able to sword slash them. I must be thinking of a different game. to next. One of the things I like about uh, Toussaint, Toussaint, whatever, is that like the question marks, unlike Skellige, all the question marks aren't like spread out really badly. And the question marks usually aren't worthless crap either. I mean, worthless crap really depends on where you're at in the game, but but still, like most of it is the stuff to sell to merchants, especially in Skellige. Like eighty thousand treasure chests sunken in the ocean of stuff you don't need. Just, all you can really do with it is sell it. I may actually do this um, story quest here later, but I'm going to eat food first. Show me what you got. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these jackasses. Two of them, actually. Why are you jumping? Just dodge, bro. Don't be weird. See, I, I deleted all the parts of me getting really pissed off last video, but these dudes are so just... You're such a stupid, shitty, lazy enemy. Like, all their attacks are timed perfectly to piss you off and waste your time. And then also, they're perfectly timed with your animations so that 
by the time you can actually get up there and do anything to them, they either kill you or they burrow under the uh, ground again, or whatever the case is. I'm just gonna run away, because this is a waste of my fucking time. I literally hate these things so much. You... Are, are you serious right now? See what I mean? Okay, I guess we'll just die then. The unbelievably bad enemy design. Throw in the wrong direction, it's fine. See, what can you possibly do about it? I mean, give me a break, dude. This is such dog shit gameplay. Jesus fuck. I mean, it's one thing to dodge them, but when they're literally hitting you, like, their, their acid spit is hitting you, when it's literally not even touching you, and you can see that it's not touching you, then it just gets, like, a hundred times more frustrating. Fucking shitty broken enemy that shouldn't ever be in another Witcher game, or any other video game. Totally ridiculous. I'm gonna keep complaining about it too, so go ahead and find another video right now. What's this? An Arrakis? More fucker. What am I even doing? I'm just like aimlessly running wandering around. Um oh, I was gonna go up, up here, I guess. Are y'all gonna... It's taking you so long. It's the second worst enemy in the game. At least those aren't broken. You can actually dodge arc spores. Oh, cool. I actually need red. Uh, what do you call it? Red mutagens. Hopefully they drop some. <laughs> really? So where do you get red mutagens? It's just totally random or what?
<laughs> Does nothing drop a red mutagen? Maybe some vampires. turn here in a bit <clears throat> all right all right all right Fiends. I was like, there's no water here. The best part about rod fiends is making them chain explode each other. Come back here. I'm not done with you. No, you don't. You don't get to stop playing the music. Diddles or those hemorrhoids. Uh, Northwest of here, there should be a question mark. Ish. Something like that. Northwest ish. Maybe this castle. Sorry, goat. You can fend for yourself, I'm not fighting those. Ah, fine. Not because I love dogs so much, but because fighting them is a total waste of time because they don't, like I said before, they don't drop anything worth looting for any reason. <laughs> they have nothing worthwhile at all. Oh, I went past it. It 
it's funny this thing does this weird Skyrim Elder Scrolls thing where like if you touch a, a hill or whatever at the wrong angle you slow down immensely the Elder Scrolls used to do the same thing or still does I guess Why are you beating the shit out of me, sir? So like you like in uh, Skyrim, you couldn't basically couldn't walk up the hillside on High Hrothgar or a lot of other places in Oblivion. Like, and actually, Arma Two and Arma Three do the same thing, where if you try to run up a hill at the wrong angle, it just slows you down immensely. So it's funny because this game also does it. It's like all. I want to say RPGs, but obviously Arma and Daisy aren't an RPG. Um, this way. Right, once I get close enough to a signpost, I'm gonna go actually do a <coughs> excuse me, do a story quest, I guess. Damn, got a feeling I'm forgetting about something. I guess like Draconids all have. Well, he doesn't seem to have one. Um, I was gonna say red mutagens. Go, go. Maybe Slizzards and Wyverns aren't the same, whatever, the same genus or something, but I doubt that. Ooh, Get off the horse! Yes, yes, I did. You deserved it. I got worried for a second. I thought that was an explosive barrel. Y'all got any onions and thread? I need to make an onion necklace, I guess.
feels almost hoarder hoarder-ish to uh, keep taking on this crap that I'm not going to use. But it weighs like nothing, so there there aren't any legal consequences in this game other than attacking guards. Um, what's the closest? And we'll do this one and then go to these two and then go to Basin. Basan? I don't know. Is a cave? Yeah. Yeah, it is. At least it's straightforward. Oh. Holy shit! Uh... The big ass cave. Let's find whatever lives here and kill it. The fuck? Is that a Hell Knight? Oh, it's these guys. Fleeters. Oh shit, I remember these guys. Not so tough now, are you? I think the, that last time I fought them, I had like broken swords and no repair kits and stuff. little bitch come back here lesser blue really this is probably something else in this cave Those are not pretty. That's all, huh? I guess it's not as big as I thought it was. Although there is a there must be a back entrance somewhere. Or maybe you could blow that up with a bomb. But still, how would you get there? So there was another one up here. Trouble you. <laughs> Did trouble you. Go this way. I 
more Juggernauts. Another slizzard. Dragon it nest. Need to destroy it. Y'all got anything good here? Besides a monster? Somewhere? Whatever. Only Lee. Oh, that's just a literal signpost. Not one with magic teleportation abilities. Of that. The fisherman? Man? Is that you? Yeah, uh, well. <laughs> I don't see any more people around here. The barber, perhaps? Devoured sheep, ravaged the farm. Oh, what a relief that's done with. I thank you. If you wish, I shall give you a trim. I just need a... Nah, I'm good, bro. No, don't you touch my hair. <laughs> Take... <laughs> you, Witcher, that werewolf. <laughs> my, he that devoured us all. The only part of this quest I actually remember is like Ooh. the chair, the boot block chair. Boot blocks don't usually work nights. Need to come back during the day. This is the day, bro.
So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher, and I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well, which is all the same to me. Scallywack killed Forfing will break yeah, your legs! Shackle him! Teach you to help scofflaws and cheats! <laughs> Dude, you broke my shirt. Kill the grey dongler! Or lock half breed! Hey, you're pissing me off, actually. Guesses. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out though. Uh huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Ah, see? I knew we'd clinch it. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. 
I came. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air has done wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Come on, good folk, come quickly. I haven't enough for everyone. Ah! Oh, lovely trifles. Red door. One that Boot Black mentioned. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that would come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Recently, his scent is still strong. Let's look around. Someone joy sometime. Attic, let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. Is his lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though.
nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home, from before the conjunction of spheres. Tools were used recently. Dead love unwind by fixing toys between murders. Red. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Duac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detloff's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Still got nothing, basically. Need to look around some more. Let's get to work. Love van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renawed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Who's Renawed? His one time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Even if Renawed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Blackmailer. Kind of curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems dead laughs being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one of the same Nazari ink. And not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. Actually, it is. 
Detloff's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowet. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Now I shall sink you a song. He shall sink you a song. Okay. Go back up to the castle. The palace, whatever you want to call it. I mean, those are different things entirely, so. Yeah. Lepiota's wheezing lungs. A real witch. Witcher's rather handsome. Yes, yes, let's be drunk in the gutter again. <laughs> He's not here. That's the butcher of blood. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Are they? Can I shoot your crossbow? I wonder how much a witcher pays in Texas. Stock send the whip away to those running riot. Geralt of Rivia. Master Witcher, I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! Huh. Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Bakhtuan? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Bakhtuan drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! <laughs> your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Whoa, this is work for a Witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a Witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. 
You have not seen my guards' men in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What, then, do you intend to do? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Evelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes. Yes. The, the west bank of the Sara, too. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Sans Real. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some Sans Real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. Wait. Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go. Accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your Grace. Yes, your Grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready?
Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. This vampire? Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Geralt! Why do you flee? Witcher, come back! You're to protect her highness! Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Come on. Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Stay back, your place. We shall see the this. Thank you, beast. Be gone. Help. Save us. Thank you. You saved our lives. Hooray! Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in all Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Captain de la Tour! We did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... Your Grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? This is an inspection. You've got questions. You'll answer them. And who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, your grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about saint Real? I am at your service. The Saint Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Saint Real. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. 
I see to the maceration personally, and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have, but any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days past, I took stock of the inventory. Uh, all was accounted for. The barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh... Of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. We shall wait here, Master Fabricio. What if Fabricio is blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is. Barreling. Hmm. Everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Ervalus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Got Pamino over here. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. Sonreal. 
Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right year. Right here, 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. Full? Full. This one's full, too. Full. This one's full, too. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Rial? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Then get to work. Let's broach those barrels. Ready. Step aside. So? Those hints of spice. Mm. Distinctive. This is Son Real. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio. It's funny because she's looking at the same barrel that she just drank from a second ago. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. 
wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and... Well... I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Need a minute. Make haste. We await only you. We would not have made it far without your grace. Oh. The important bit is yet to come. <sighs> All right, so um, I'm going to cut off this video here because I'm already falling asleep. I have been for a while. <laughs> I'm like all those times that I was 100 feet away from the NPCs and stuff. So uh, I'll continue this Wine is Sacred mission next week. Uh, and that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.